Good morning, everyone. Um, let's talk about Endor, episode six, I think it is. This is like the probably their best episode. The heist kicks in, and when it does, it goes smoothly like clockwork. The only thing that I would have a gripe with is when when the 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 tribal people come in. I forgot their name. The tribal people come in, and it just takes them a longer to get to the dam, or not to the dam, to the the huge dam, uh, fortress, not fortress, but it, the the guard post, I guess you can say, the outpost. I'm not sure what it is. It takes them a long time to get there, and the whole point is that they're gonna celebrate the. The, the, the stars that were going to pass by through the orbit for their annual um, I, for some for some festival. I don't know what it is, but it, it took a while for that to kick in. But the, the heist itself, the planning, the once they kick in and when they start kidnapping the the height, the, the chancellor there, him, his wife, his kid, you know, they start, you know, they kidnap them to get access to the to the to the cash or not the cash uh the credits that whole part yeah it was great i loved it i liked it the problem is is that you took five episodes oh, take it back three episodes to get to that point it shouldn't have been taken that long to tell the fucking story into that degree that being said when they got the the credits and they started leaving, and then you see like the the stars passing by the planet, and it just sort of has like that weird uh, uh, two thousand one Pink Floyd interstellar dimensional pull in. I was like, "That's cool. That is cool. That is amazing to look at." Everything else afterwards, I was just like, "All right, well, they got what they wanted, and then they." part ways but then like everyone f figured out through the news that you know they went through it through the whole process and I was like oh okay I get it now makes sense and then that crusty N N Nancy Pelosi was character was just like oh I can't believe they actually did it and then Stellan Skarsgård's like oh shit they actually pulled it off awesome and then that's about it it, it just gives me it's still the best episode because it still gives me a lot of my curious and attention was was still there. This is like probably the first episode where Diego Luna was actually interesting to to, to listen to because his character was sort of meticulously nervous about the whole thing because he had to went over the his his little gang. And then at the same time, realize that one of them is going to screw him over. So he had to play it fast and cool. So he had to do it. And for whatever reason or other, it was it was it was probably the better episode. It was probably better than that second episode where they fought the the imperial the imperial guards. Those yeah, those guys dressed in blue. Um. But other than that, it was a decent episode. I hopefully, it's kind of hard to tell because Star Wars sucks nowadays. Hopefully, hopefully, the you know, next episode will be a little interesting to look at. All right, I gotta go. Follow me everywhere. Keep it righteous. Lights.